Hi, it's Alaska Granny. We've all been through so many challenges in the last year. Making sure we have enough food and prepping supplies should be an absolute priority. I recently went to the store. I was able to get a bunch of more rice, 20, 40, 60, 80 pounds. I bought 80 pounds of rice. I also ordered gallon-sized Mylar bags on Amazon. They come with a gusseted stand-up bottom so that you can open them up flat and then they have a zip lock top. I can fill them up, add oxygen absorbers, zip it, and then seal it. But then you don't have to go ahead and heat seal it, but I'm going to do that anyway. The Ziploc seal is supposed to be effective enough, but you can get something as simple as your clothes iron or even a hair crimper and you can seal it for the additional security to make sure that your food is safe. This is a better size of food for me and my family. I would rather have a food stored in a container that's a size that I can use easily. I don't necessarily want to open up 50 pound bucket. I can open the five gallon bucket, take out one of the bags of rice and close the bucket back up and all the rest of the food is still sealed up nice and safe. So that's one way to consider it. It doesn't have to be all or nothing in a bucket. You can make packages of food that suit your needs. That's how you should store food in amounts that meet your family's needs. So I bought 80 pounds of rice, 25 gallon sized zip top Mylar bags, and then 100 oxygen absorbers. I found the oxygen absorbers online from the LDS or the Mormon church and you get 100 of them for $10. I thought it was a really good deal. And these are supposed to each one seal up a gallon of food. I've had a hard time getting buckets with lids but I found some at Home Depot. So I bought three buckets and three lids. When you look for lids make sure that they have the inner rubber seal gasket so that when you put the lid on it helps make them airtight. So then I'll have an extra layer of I'll have a bucket which is a good solid container with an airtight seal. Then I'll have the food in the Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers. So the food should be able to last practically forever. I bought some more gallons of water. They're easy to just pick up, bring them home, line them up and have more water on hand. It takes a lot of water to cook foods like rice. If you look at how much water you use in a day, having more water stored is gonna go a long way towards helping your family be comfortable if you lose water for some reason. Now, I went out in my shed and was I ever shocked when I saw this chewed up mess down in the papers. Fortunately, I did not have any food stored in this location, but I don't want this infestation in anything in my property. So I also, when I went to the hardware store, I picked up a couple of the Tomcat snap traps. These are easy to set because you don't get your fingers into the contraption that you can snap them. Bait the trap in the bait well, then you place the trap facing the wall where you see activity. Press the set arm with your foot or hand and you can hear it click. And that's all there is to it. I've used these before. It's surprising what kind of bait you can use that's successful. You can use peanut butter, you can use a piece of hot dog, you can use a little piece of cheese. I've even had good luck with a little bit of a stale burrito. These are nice because you don't risk snapping them on your fingers. Then you can either dispose of the entire thing once you've achieved success or you can press them open, reset them and use them again. If you have pets and children, don't set these where they could get in them. And I'm very leery about using poison simply for those reasons. I wouldn't want anyone to get into poison that shouldn't have it. We can't allow critters to move in and chew up the things that we own. So whatever your unique challenges are, keep prepping. 
get a supply of food, make sure you have some water, and then get extra supplies that help keep your standard of living going, like a rat trap. You just never know. Look around for what are your challenges and leave comments below and tell us what are some ideas of some unusual challenges that you face lately that will help us think of other items to stockpile before those challenges hit our world too. If you liked my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. And please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.